Okay, welcome, Shalom, giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rokakwadash. Give a double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, and blessings to the true believers of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So now what we have on the screen is a bill that was introduced sometime in the beginning of, of this year i believe january of 2021 um a416 and what this bill proposed is detention to anyone that may be um carriers or the crown royale or suspected carriers of the crown court um royale and i'm gonna read a little bit from it i'm not gonna go through the whole thing now it says here at um right here upon upon determining by clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is or may be in danger by a case contact or carrier or suspected case contact or carrier of contagious disease that in the opinion of the governor after consulting with the commissioner may pose an imminent and sufficient threat to the public health resulting so in other words uh, what this bill proposing is if a person is infected that person is posing a threat to public health and that's give them the right to detain that person and that's what Esau want to do and you see with the dynamic of what's happening right now with this mandate there's a lot of um pushback to esau's plans because it say that it's saying joe in the fullness of his sufficiency he should be in straits or other words he should be in trouble because he having trouble um fully implemented his plans but um things is going to start getting real out here and if you're not of the elect you're going to be in trouble now this is second Ezra 16 and 70 for there should be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord they should be like mad men sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So that's the that's gonna be the time of Jacob's trouble. When Esau comes down and start pulling people out their homes. Because um the scripture speaks about these things. So certain certain men of the faith is gonna be detained. But even but even then the most high is gonna be with us. Verse 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's when they start kicking down doors. Verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. So the most High is going to show who, who is his chosen. Who is chosen. And it says uh, we're going to be tried like gold in the fire. So we're going to be tempted and what's going to follow after after we show our faith the most high is going to give us power and we're going to stand against these troops because that's the only way we're going to be able to take them down through the power of the most high now verse 74 hear O ye my beloved save the lord behold the days of of trouble are at hand but I will deliver you 
from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is your guide. So we got to remain faithful. And don't worry about what we're going to do, how we're going to get around it. The Most High is going to be with us. Now, this is Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, some men are going to be detained, but the Most High is going to be with them as long as they keep their faith. Um, this is Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man do travel with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins, as a woman in travel? And all faces are turned into paleness. So in that time, a lot of a lot of guys gonna bitch up. You know, these men that's not in the faith, the men of the world, they're gonna bitch up. Cause they're not gonna have answers, but the men of the Lord, the ones that's in his faith, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna have ease at mind, because we have the scriptures. That's why scriptures say that wisdom and knowledge shall be what? Out this um stability of thy times so it's the scriptures that's going to keep us stable when all anarchy and chaos is taking place now verse 7 alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it so everyone's faith is going to be fully tested Cause when he fully come with this um, this microchip and start detaining and put, putting people to death that that's not in compliance, that's when your faith is gonna be really tested. But the scriptures say what? But he should be saved out of it. So you have the elect. You're gonna be found worthy in those times, and you're gonna stay strong. But if you're not the elect, you're gonna fold. You're gonna break. So now I'm gonna leave you with this. This is Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So the Lord said he's coming quickly. And to hold fast means to hold tight and not fumble. So Lord willing, this video was edifying. And again, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rokakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.